Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma. Hi children, good morning to everyone. What we are discussing children? We are discussing about the verb forms. Yes children. Till yesterday, what we have done? We have completed about the past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. Yes children. Verb forms we have done. Simple past, simple present, simple future. Past, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. We have completed. Now we are going to learn about the perfect tenses. What are the perfect tenses? When we are using the helping verbs has, have, yes children, then with the past participle form of verb, past participle form of verb, when we are using has, have or had with the main verb, then these are called as perfect tenses. These are called as perfect tenses. Now see here, I have written one example here. I have just painted the wall you are sitting on. What is the example here, children? I have just painted the wall you are sitting on. Here, have. This is the helping verb, children. Painted. This is the main verb. When we are using in a sentence, have, has, had. With the main verb and in the form of past participle. Then this sentence is called as perfect tenses. What it is, children? Perfect Tenses. In this, we are having present perfect tense, past perfect tense. See here, children, I said past participle form of verb. See here, children, I said past participle form of verb. See, when we are, for a sentence, when we are using have, has, had and the verb form, past participle form of verb, then the sentence is a perfect tenses. They are the perfect tenses. Tenses. Understood, children? See here, I said past participle. What is the form of the verb? We will see here. Now, the base form is teach. Okay. What is the past form? Taught. What is the past participle? That is also taught. See, where is the difference? I will show you. Eat. What is the say, past form, children? Eat. And now, see here, what is the past participle form, children? Eaten. Understood? Fall. Fell. Fallen. This is the past participle form of verb. Understood, children? And now we have understood about perfect tenses. What are the perfect tenses? When we are using the helping verb has, have, add. With the main verb or main verb form, what is children? Past participle of verb form. Then it makes the perfect tenses. It makes the perfect tenses. Understood, children? What is the past participle form of verb? Now I said eat. In the past form, eight. In the past participle, we will write as eaten. E-A-T-E-N. Eaten. Understood, children, everyone? Now, see, we are going to learn about the perfect tense. In the perfect tense, present perfect tense, past perfect tense. Everyone understood about perfect tense, children? I hope everyone have understood that. See here, what is the perfect tense? When we are using have, has, had. Helping verbs these are. Okay, children. These helping verbs with the main verb. But what it is? Past participle form of verb. Then it makes the perfect tenses. Now we are going to learn present perfect tense. Past perfect tense. Okay, children. Present perfect tense. What is the rule of the present perfect tense? See here. First subject will be there. Plus we will write has or have. Plus Past participle of verb form plus object. Okay, children, we will see the example first of all. See here, when we talk about the things, what are the things that have happened till the moment of speaking, it is not very important when they happen. See here, I have learned to play the guitar. I have learned. Here, I have learned. What you have learned? I have learned to play the guitar. To play the guitar. See your children. What I said here, we should use have. 
and this is the learnt the past form which past form past participle form and as the children these are called as present perfect tense when we are using the present perfect tense in which time we will talk here things that have happened till the moment of speaking or it is not that much important okay children things that have happened a short time ago and are still important or relevant means in the short time it is happened but it is very important my aunt has baked a cake just now the movie has just started here we have used to have here i am using see the movie has just the movie has just started what it is here we are using here has means what with, now it is started okay things that started in the past and are happening in the even now means i have lived in this house since my childhood i have lived in this house since my childhood means in the past also now also she is living there only yes children then it started in the past and it is now also it is present there okay children it is happening there see here we can use words like ever never just already yet and not yet with the present perfect tense here uh, they have just returned they have just returned i have already prepared for exams i have already prepared for exams and as to children these are the examples for present perfect tense once again i'm telling you listen carefully present perfect tense it is used when something happened at the moment of speaking but it is not very much important this something happened the short time ago before a short time it happened but it is very very important see here and next it is started in the past and it is happening in the present also then they are called as present perfect tense and as such children see here some examples we will see okay the train has not arrived here i wrote here has not arrived has not what it is it is in the negative form what it is children negative form one thing remember whenever we are using not it is the negative form see i said the movie has just started the movie has not started we can write like that and as children everyone have understood about the present perfect tense see we will use the since to point out exact time when something happened okay children why what is the present perfect tense when something happened at the time of speaking okay and when something happened in the short time ago it is happened but it is very very important and as children and this is we will write present perfect tense where something started in the past and it is continuing till in the present and as children this is about the present perfect tense and you should write the see here children now past perfect yes children what is the past perfect children see when we are using the word helping verb had it is in the past form okay when we are using has have what it happens it is in the present perfect tense in the past what is the rules in the subject plus helping verb had plus past participle form of verb plus object yes so let's see here then we use the past perfect form to say that one thing happened before another in the past what if i will tell something happened in the past and another also before the another one see here the bus had left when rohan reached the bus stop first what happened bus has left after that rohan reached the bus stand yes children here the two things are happening what it is happening the bus has left first and what happened the rohan has reached the bus stop see here the bus had left when rohan has reached the Rohan reached the bus stop. See ya. Maggie returned home because she had forgotten her umbrella. She had forgotten her umbrella. Here first what happened? She forgot the umbrella. Then she returned the home. Understood children? Before one thing, something happened in the past. 
with the another thing. It is linking between two things. See, here. they asked me to wait because I had jumped the queue. The first, I had jumped the queue and then asked me to wait. What is that? First thing, something happened before another in the past. In the past only it happened, but two things have happened. Understood? Now, see, we will see the past perfect tense. Ex see, the suspected him, they suspected him as they had lifted his fingerprints. What happened? They he is lifted his fingerprints first, then they have suspected. Means you are understanding the children, one thing happened before the another thing. Yes, the two things have happened, but it's linking with the one. Okay, children. See what happened? She has forgot the umbrella. So she has written the home. Yes. Now here. See here, children. What happened here? One thing happened before the other thing. What I said? Maggie returned home because she had forgotten her umbrella. What happened here? She had forgotten the umbrella. What you are using in the past? Past perfect tense, children. Had. What you are using, children, here? Had. She had forgotten her umbrella. Forgotten is the past participle form of verb. First participle form of verb. Here, in the past perfect tense or in the present perfect tense. The past participle of verb will be used. But in the helping verb place, in the, pa in the present we will use has and have. In the past we will use had. Remember children, what is the difference between had? Had means what? Something, it is there before. Now it is not there, you can tell. Or from that time onwards, I am having with me. Okay, this is about the had. Have means I have now. Okay, has. This is also same. Yes, you learn. Has, have, had. Has, have uses in the present form. Had is used in the past perfect tense. Understood, children, everyone? Now, I hope everyone have understood about the perfect tenses. And I will give you the worksheets. You should do it. Okay, children. Now, I said in the present perfect tense, the negative form also. Has not. Have not. Understood, children? When we are using N-O-T, not, then it becomes a negative form of a sentence. Understood everyone? Uh, yes. Now, take out your books and write it out the worksheets. Understand what I am saying. Understood everyone? What is the present, present perfect tense? Yes. Mm. Present perfect tense and past perfect tense. Understood children? You know the present perfect tense and past perfect tense? Yes. What is the perfect first of all? When we are using the helping verb, has, have, had. With the main verb, what is the form of the verb here? Past participle form of the verb. Then it makes the perfect tense. Now in the present tense, what it is? In the present tense, we are using has and have. And in the past tense, we are using had. Why we are using this? Present tense, what it tells present perfect tense? It tells about something happened in the Something started in the past and it is continuing in the present also. That it tells and in the short time something happened but it is very very important. And what is the next one? It is it is happened but it is not when we are speaking something happened but it is not that much important. Okay and coming to the past perfect tense. What is the past perfect tense? It tells Something happened in the past with the before another thing happened. Something happened in the past and before that something happened. Means what here? Two things are going, going on. Yes, children. This is about the perfect tense. Yes, children. Have you understood everyone? Now write down the worksheets. So, yes, children. Complete the sentence with the present perfect form of the verb in the brackets the first one is done see here my parents dash here for 15 years my parents have lived here for 15 years second one nobody dash arrived at the flowers dash not bloom at fourth one historians dash find an ex ancient city fifth one I dash not eat since morning. Sixth one. The cook dash already served dinner. Seventh one. They dash send a spaceship to Mars. And as you children see here. My parents have lived here for 15 years. Second one. 
nobody arrived yet third one the flowers not bloom yet fourth one historians dash fine an ancient city fifth one i dash not eat since morning sixth one the cook dash already served dinner seventh one the day they dash send a spaceship to mars Sir Chilan, my brother dash never ride a bicycle. Ninth one, the farmers not reap the harvest yet. I dash just paint a landscape of the sea. Now next one, bit b bit sir Chilan, write answers to these questions. Use the present perfect tense form of the verbs in the your answer. How long have you been in this school? For how many years have you been been in this city? How long have you been? Have you know your best friend? Have you already been to London? Have you played badminton? Have you ever lied to your teacher? Have you ever had a pet? Has the school taken you to the museum yet? Has the school announced the exam dates? Have you answered all the questions in this exercise? Yes, children. Answer these questions. See here. See bit. Complete this sentence with the past perfect form of the verbs in the brackets. See here. I dash steady for two here two hours before I left to play chess. The family dash go to bed when the alarm went off. The sparrows dash fly away before the cat could reach them. Sneha screamed because she dashed step on lizard. The they dash not lock the door so it was easy to break in. We did not swim because we dash forgot our swimsuits at home. The dog would not have bitten him if he dash not tease it. They dash prepare well, so they won the inter school quiz easily. Right on, children. Complete it. The hills were not green because it not rain enough that year. My family dash live in Sri Lanka before we moved here. To the United States. Okay, children. These are the uses. Use the past perfect form and write it out. Okay, children. Complete. Complete, children. Complete it. Okay.